One of the brightest features in iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 is Safari extensions. So what are Safari extensions? Maybe you have no idea what an extension is or what it does. Well, Safari extensions are downloadable add-ons that improve and increase the web browser's functionality. Some extensions help you save money while you shop. Others might introduce a powerful new shortcut, making the web less distracting so that you can focus. This video will help get you started. Ellen here from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. To install a Safari extension, you'll need to download them. And here's the easiest way to do that. You'll want to open up your settings app, and then you'll want to scroll down until you see Safari, tap on Safari, and under General, you'll want to choose Extensions. Once inside the Extensions menu, tap on More Extensions. You'll be taken into the App Store to the Safari Extensions area, where you'll see a list of all the extensions available to you. Choose some that you may want to download and go ahead and do that. Some are paid and some are free. I'm going to tap on settings in the upper left hand corner to get us back into the settings area. And if you already have some extensions installed, you'll see them listed in the Safari settings under extensions. Toggle the switch next to them on. You'll start setting them up. So once you toggle that switch on, you'll see down below that that you'll have a permissions area and you'll need to choose whether or not you are going to allow this particular app to either ask you every time you go to use it, deny it, or allow it. So in this particular case, I use 1Password, so I'm going to go ahead and choose 1Password.com and I'm going to say allow and I'm going to tap on back and you'll see that the toggle switch is turned on and now I can use 1Password under Safari as an extension and I'll show you how to do that. Once the extension is downloaded, set up and enabled, here's how to use it. You'll come into your Safari app and you'll notice up here in the URL address bar, you'll see that the extension I'm using 1Password is shown there. And next to that is a puzzle piece, which signifies that the Safari extensions have been enabled. You can tap on the puzzle piece and you'll come into a list here and it shows you the list of your extensions. And I only have one right now, which is the password extension. And then you can also go into manage extensions. So if I tap on that, you'll see a list of your other extensions if you have some where you can go in and toggle those extensions on if you want. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Done, and I'm going to go ahead and click the X to close that out, and I'm going to show you how this works. So 1Password is a password manager that enables me to log in to my accounts without really having to look up a password or type anything in. So once it's been enabled, I can come into the login area, click on Sign In, You'll see that my sign-ins come up for uh, Amazon. I can tap on the one I want to use. I'll tap continue. The password is automatically placed there from one password, and I can go ahead now and click on sign-in. A pop-up may appear at the top of the screen asking you to review additional permissions. You can check these permissions by swiping out of Safari, and coming back into the settings area, tapping on Safari, choosing extensions under general, and then choosing the extension that you'd like to check the permissions, and then come back in and check the permissions and make sure that everything is set up the way you want it to be. If there comes a time when you no longer wish to use an extension, you really can't delete it because it's attached to that particular app on your device. 
but you can disable it by coming back into the extension area and just toggling the switch off and then you'll no longer have access to that extension in Safari. I hope you found this video on Safari extensions useful. If you have any questions or comments, you know, post them below and I'll answer you as quickly as possible. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.